The following presentation is a made for Wham original. To overcome, to triumph, to strive, to make a dream come true. This is what they did. The Kotnik family had a dream, a mission. They were going to swim the English Channel as the first family relay ever. This is the story of Spencer Kotnik and his determination to challenge the channel. Spencer is the older brother by a year. Not much older, but old enough. His sister Mia is 11. The Kotniks are your average family in the heartland of America. That was until one afternoon about six years ago. Everything in his life changed. Spencer um, was hit in an unsupervised playground accident. And that caused most of his hearing uh, in his left ear to go out. My parents took him to the hospital and the hospital said he was okay, but then the next morning we took him back to the hospital and he had lost most of his hearing. It's very little things on a very daily basis that, that are the challenges, and it continues to be an adjustment in every part of our daily lives. Getting used to his hearing loss was hard, hard in a lot of ways. That's how the family got involved with the Listen Foundation. The Listen Foundation was very helpful in enabling us to find a path that would work for our family. Now Spencer is your average 12-year-old, with one minor difference. He wears a hearing aid. I can't play any contact sports such as football, hockey, because it, I could possibly get hit in the head again and lose the rest of my hearing, and that's sort of disappointing to me. So instead of being an all-star football player, he decided to be the best he could be at what he could do. That's swim, and swim fast. Because of Spencer's hearing loss, the only problem he has is starting with the rest of the racers. He can't hear the starting gun. But once he starts, nothing holds him back. He took about uh, he took about three seconds, three or four seconds off the state record. Awesome. Very Swimming became something that the Kotniks enjoyed as a family. Each excelled in his own right. With that, an idea developed, an idea to give back to the Listen Foundation that had given so much, strengthen the family bonds, and fulfill a lifelong dream, which is to swim successfully across the English Channel. By doing so, we're also helping the community and fundraising. It started out being my mom's goal. And so now it's a family goal to complete the crossing for the Wilson Foundation. If they were successful, they would officially be the first family to relay across the channel. To do this, each swimmer would have to be in the water an hour, then trade off with another member of the family. Because the official channel swimming rules decreed only regular suits, wetsuits were out and skin was in. Because of Spencer's small body weight, his main challenge would be the cold. Altogether, the family trained at least a couple hours every day all over Colorado. And after an amazing send-off by the media and community, the day finally arrived. Everyone started the nine-hour flight to England. Once on English soil, the family learned more about the difficulties ahead. Only one out of eight people who attempt the crossing make it basically because of bad English weather. When the channel starts like giving you a few swells and a few waves and you just attack them and punch them and come through the other side. It's getting real now. <laughs> because they were swimming by the official rules, Spencer's sister Mia was a year too young to be part of the relay. They all really wanted her to be part of it, though, so she started the first leg with Spencer. After starting with Spencer on his first hour, Mia returned to the boat to cheer on the family. Um, not that bad. It's a little cold, but not really. The first half hour went by quickly, and the white cliffs of Dover were getting a little smaller. But then, reality set in. The 60-plus degree water was bone-chilling, and Spencer's mom was feeling the onset of seasickness. 
Her lifelong dream had gotten them all there, but seasickness seemed like it may come between them and success. We're okay, we can travel. With the shore in the far off distance, it was Dad up next. His turn to see all his training pay off. Spencer's second turn came quick. Two hours wrapped in blankets between swims goes fast when you're freezing. Go. His second time in was far worse than his first. He had the excitement of the first leg to keep him going to start the race. But the water and air temperature was really dropping, the wind was picking up, and now the waves were cresting at over six feet. With nausea and the cold affecting her mother, Mia got into the water to help keep mom going. Honey, I'm tired. Mom is sick. We gonna we gonna can it? Okay. Spencer, come on in. Mom's sick. No. Yeah. Well, it's all of you. All it's of you. All as long as he knows it's not him. Taking on the English Channel was going to be a great thing to do as a family. As it grew into reality, it took on a different meaning. He and his family didn't make it to France, but don't think of it that way. Think of it as a crossing, a crossing into confidence. Now, after conquering his fears and doing this with the support of family, he knows he can take on anything that life will throw at him. The Kotnik family made it almost halfway in six and a half hours. 
Although they did not make it into the record books, they raised in excess of $115,000 for the Listen Foundation. The funds will be distributed to hearing impaired children. The Listen Foundation is a nonprofit organization that provides financial support and assistance to babies and children who are deaf or hard of hearing. For more information or to help, call or email the Listen Foundation.